Hey, it's Brickzar, and today we have a super awesome, most spectacular set to look at. It's actually a gear, and I know you can tell by looking at it that you're just eager. You're pregnant with anticipation of what great things are in this Jack Stone box. Well... Don't worry, we will show you. This is set 4179689. It is a gear. It is a clock. It is a Jackstone clock. And yes, I am being overly excited about something that is probably one of the worst themes that LEGO came up with. The Jackstone theme. I'm not sure this was kind of like the Town Junior type stuff. That these are The figures are a little larger than minifigures. It's supposed to be the in-between figures for kids going from Duplo to regular Lego bricks, but the little kids didn't think, I don't think, like this, and I don't think the adults liked it. I don't think the, the kids liked it. It's for ages five and up. And so it's probably one of the more forgettable series that Lego did. But I have um, acquired this clock and a lot from Goodwill with some clocks that I actually wanted. And so we're going to open it up and look at it. And at first I didn't think there would be anything I like about it. But this thing's actually kind of funny. It's so bad, it's funny. So we're going to open it up. Yes, I am going to do the unthinkable. I am going to open a sealed set. Yes, it is sealed. And I think you can see why I might think this is funny. So QC passed, and I think this is bad, um, oh his name slips me, there's a guy on YouTube that looks at, uh, collects vintage comic books, and he takes graded comic books that are sealed and graded, and busts them out of the um, packs that they seal them in, so I think, I actually think that's pretty cool, because Lego... It, it's meant to be played with, just like comic books were meant to be read. So we're going to open this thing up. And this is actually the first time I have ever opened one of the clock sets, so this I thought it would be good to experiment with this using the Jack Stone, which would be my least favorite. Alright, send this plastic to protect it. You get this little pamphlet that shows you... What does this show you? Oh, it's the different languages. Well, that's a guarantee. It shows you how to put the gears on. Alright, let's see what... Does it tell me what kind of battery? It needs a AA battery. Oh my goodness. Look what this says. This is bad. This is very bad. AA battery included. That's not good. Do you think the battery... See, this set came out in 2002. Do you think the battery still has any juice left in it? I highly doubt it. So that makes me worry. Hopefully they got it um, some paper or tabs blocking the ends where it didn't corrode all over everything, but we will see. So just, this is the clock part. It's a buildable clock. And this is where the battery is. Oops. Yes, they do have the tabs, so there's no corrosion in there. I'd be curious to see if this thing actually works. All right, now here is the pieces that you get. You get an octan brick, a wrench. Let's get this thing down here where we can see it. You got two red gears. I think these are like two, two, two or three dollar parts. These gears, each. So that's that's pretty good. And then you got your stuff for your flame. So not really a great assortment of pieces there. Not great at all. Oh, you get the base plate. So I'm going to build this and get it operating, and we'll come. Back. All right, I have built this little model, kind of like 
similar to what's on the box, not exactly the same. And look, yes, that is the actual battery that was in the set. Again, this set came out in 2002. The thing I am most impressed about the set is that my 11-year-old battery still has some juice and it is actually working. This is an analog clock. This side here is for adjusting the time. This side over here is for adjusting your alarm. The little yellow handle in the middle is your alarm. So if I set this over here, we should get an alarm. Let's see, that's almost 11, so I'm going to go a little bit. I wonder if it... Oh, it didn't go off. All right. Let's put it there at 11. Move the time. It has a light. Oh, it's got a little light. Look at that. Little light. And then you hit that button and the alarm goes off. Is this... What's this do? A little push button. Oh, that's how you enable the alarm. Yeah, okay. Did you hear that? Let me get this microphone a little closer. If it doesn't seem very loud, it's because it's not. So that's how you enable the alarm, by pushing that blue button. I figured all that without looking the instructions. <laughs> so anyway, that is your clock. And it's on fire! And how appropriate, because everything on the LEGO world is on fire. Uh, you got your little fireman here. This is your Jack Stone fireman with fire helmet. I don't know where the water is coming from. He's got this little nozzle with that flame is actually supposed to be water, but he has no hose attached to it. But he's experienced. He's got his white mustache, so he's obviously been doing this a lot longer than what I, I've done anything. So he's knowledgeable of what he's doing. Let's see. Yeah, these Jackstone figures probably they have the same range of movement as a regular minifigure. They're just taller. Do their heads come off? Their legs come off. They're all completely assembled. They're all one piece. Nothing comes off. So it's kind of like a Duplo figure that looks like a mini figure. Which is kind of lame. So, that is the Jack Stone Fire Clock. A clock on fire. Can the Lego Fire Department put it out? I don't know. He probably needs to go and get a dead fish if he wants to put this out. Anyway. Oh, let me show you what the gears look like on the back. That's how the, you just push the gears in the little holes there, and then that's how you can turn it. That's all that's for. It's for turning the clock. Oh, let's go back. You know, I already showed the battery, but I don't even remember what it was. It's probably one of the little cheap no-name brand batteries. It is, yeah, a super power... Ace, Maxell. Is Maxell still around? I don't know. I'm going to put this back on like this. So that it does not corrode. But I'm going to put it back the right way here. So pretty cool. The Jack Stone clock. I highly don't recommend it, but hey, at least you didn't have to buy it to see it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you didn't, please click like anyway, because by watching this, you know not to buy this. Thanks for watching. This is Brigzar.